right on the set. Take one. Action. Hi, I'm Annette Langford, the executive producer of The World Praise. We have another great episode coming right up, so stay tuned. Langford, welcome to The Real Praise. Today we have a very special guest on the show, Leon Stinson. Hi, Leon, how are you today? I'm doing well, thank you. Tell us, what brings you to The Real today? Essentially, what I want to do as a Philadelphia Youth Commissioner, <clears throat> which I'll get into, I guess, later on, and as basically a young African-American uh, African male, <clears throat> is show them uh, what, the what the possibilities are. You know, I was fortunate enough to go to a public school yes. and then go to a private school, so I've kind of seen the best of the both worlds. And rather than just try to go ahead and run away with my success, um, I feel an impulse, you know, based on what my family has installed in me, um, to give that back to the community. So um, any chance I get, I guess, to talk about my life story and where I've come from and where I am today, uh, I jump at that opportunity. I appreciate it. So why don't you start by telling us um, basically where you were born and raised. Uh, tell us, you know, how you actually got started and embarking on being a part of this youth commission? Basically, um, I was born and raised on 12, South, um, 1272 South 24th Street. Okay. And um, you know, I'm a fam from a family of four. My dad, my mom, I have a younger brother. Okay. Uh, I, was, I would say little brother, but he's not so little anymore. He's big. But, um, and basically, with the foot off the youth commission, um, I was fortunate enough to be involved in politics all my life. So my mom was Shaka Vitas, chief of staff when he was a state senator. And, um, you know, my dad has always been involved in politics in a grassroots level, campaigning um, for, you know, various amounts of politicians. And, um, you know, so politics has always been ingrained in my life. And uh, essentially, with this new presidential election coming up, you know, I kind of felt an impulse to try to get involved. And it wasn't necessarily Barack Obama inspiring me at that point. It was just, you know, politics in general, and I really started to fall in love with it. So my mom discovered this uh, opening at the Philadelphia Youth Commission, was a, which was a referendum, on the, uh, which a lot of people voted on. Um, putting the Philadelphia Youth Commission into place. A lot of, that's a misconception. A lot of people thought that it was created by the mayor. But it was created by, you know, the people of Philadelphia, a referendum, which I'm very grateful for. And, um, you know, so my mom found out about it, and uh, she told me about it, and she said, Leon, you know, you have a chance to make an impact on the youth, something you've been trying to do for a while. You know, here's a perfect platform to work along with other distinguished uh, youth to do that. So uh, I jumped at the opportunity. I was grateful enough to get in touch with uh, Councilman Bill Green at large. Yes. And, um, okay. And then he appointed me. Just hearing that alone just really just floors me. I think that's a wonderful thing. Now, Leon, tell us exactly what you do, what your role is. Essentially, we're 21, okay. a group of 21. The mayor appointed four, and each councilman appointed, uh, appointed one appointee. And what we're picked to do is, you know, we make legislation, but essentially we make, um, uh, we, make a, we give advice. And we give advice to the mayor, and we give advice to the city council. And we're fortunate enough to be in that unbelievable spot where we have the mayor's ear and we have city council's ear. And, uh, you know, what we do is we, we serve as advocates more than anything else. Um, you know, we like to call ourselves, we're not lawmakers, but we do create legislation and we do propose legislation. And, uh, you know, we're still pretty new, fairly new, so we haven't been able to do a lot. But uh, the biggest thing for us is creating doorways for the youth. Wonderful. Advocacy is, a, is is the biggest thing. Awesome. Leon, is there any advice that you would like to give to the public? You know, there's, uh, there, there's so much that I can say and so much that I want to say, but to sum it up in a couple words, and I think you summed it up perfectly, um, don't give up, you know, and, and the power, you know, we underestimate the power of our mind, and we underestimate, you know, how much, you know, how, how powerful our mind is and how much we can manifest in front of us if we just believe in ourselves. You know, also, you know, you got to realize that you have something unique to bring to the table. 
And you know, the bottom line is that you know, whether you are an artist or whether you are a lawyer or whether you are a doctor, you know, you are going to make a tremendous difference in the world, depending on how much you believe in yourself and how much you feel you can bring to the table. There's no limit. There's absolutely no limit. And you know, they talk about the glass ceiling. You know, I heard about you know Hillary Clinton and Sarah Palin. I'm always using political uh, metaphors, I guess, where Hillary Clinton and Sarah Palin is that you know the glass ceilings are being broken. You know, there's no more limits on what we can accomplish. We've gone to the moon. You know, we we've won you know all types of you know certain things. We've you know we've created you know all types of experiments. I mean, we've done all types of experiments that have been extremely successful. We've created all types, you know, of uh, prototypes and all types of different robots and mechanisms. You know, there's nothing that is stopping us from achieving success. But at the same time, we got to believe in each other because it's lonely at the top, and you want everybody else to be there up there with you. You know, I understand that you that you want that personal motivation and you know you want that personal success. But after you get that, don't be afraid, you know, to bring it back to your community to better your community because you realize that in order for you to get to where you had to get, somebody had to come back to you and bring it to your community in order for you to have success. So why not return that favor and come back to your community and you know get that success. So that's the biggest thing I have to say. And also reach out to the Philadelphia Youth Commission. You know, we're here for you, we're here to serve you. You know, we're we're really trying to get ourselves out there, let people know about us. I think mostly adults know about us if they know about us from the referendum. But you know, we're here for you. We're here as a resource for you. So don't feel as if you know that you're here by yourself or you're fighting this battle by yourself because you have a lot of bright young people who actually care about you, care about your well-being, who are working hard for you day in and day out. And you know, you don't always know who likes you, you don't always know who's working hard for you, but have faith that somebody's out there and somebody's working hard for you. And then you have faith that you can work go out there and work hard for somebody else who you may not know. Don't be afraid to reach out to somebody, you know, on a street corner and try to help them out. Don't be afraid to stop you know, spend five minutes of your day and talk to somebody, you know, about success and or about college or about anything, you know, that may help to bring that person's heart up. You know, a simple smile can light up somebody's day. So, you know, that, that's, that's basically what I have to say and the advice I have to give. You know, don't stop believing. Keep on fighting hard and develop that hunger and that thirst. Leon Stimson, I want to thank you for giving us those encouraging words. But I also want to continue to encourage you to be the best that you can be in all your endeavors, Always keep God first in everything that you do and incorporate prayer in your life on every task that you undertake. Thank you for being a guest on The Real. Thank there you. you have it. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.